Welcome to Addis Ababa. So let me make my speech, a welcoming speech to you, to all our brothers and sisters who came from different directions, but from the same region, just to give you the version of Eager Secretariat and to, to leave the forum to our member states to make the strengths and finally to come out this discussion. So I, uh, I recognize the presence of His Excellency Dr. Fikru Ragasa, the State Minister of Agriculture of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, Her Excellency Dr. Fatuma Mohammed, Director General, International Relations, Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry, the Republic of Sudan, our chair. The Global Alliance, Dr. Yassin Osman, Acting Officer, Director of Relief and Resilience, USID, Ethiopia. Distinguished delegates of IGAD member states, distinguished representatives of development partners, all protocol is observed. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to Ethiopia, specifically Addis Ababa, and invite you as a chairperson of this platform to listen to my remarks at the 14th Idrisi Platform Steering Committee meeting. Your Excellencies, my colleagues, it continues to do so now. Uh, this platform that has brought us together today was established 11 years ago by the heads of states of the IGAD region. EAC and development partners following the severe drought of 2010 to 2011. This continue to do so now at this most critical time when we are facing the worst drought in the life of 14 years of this region. In these last 11 years, IGAD has supported member states through IDRISI to develop joint programs that targeting regional issues through programs that address development challenges in cross-border areas. In this regard, we have been supported by our partners I mentioned them, some of them, the African Development Bank, the World Bank, KFW, the European Union, SIDA Sudan, USID, BMZ or GIZ, Islamic Development Bank, Denmark, Swiss Development Cooperation, and UNDP. In addition, Idrisi has benefited from the technical support of FAO, ILRI and GIZ. I also wanted to recognize the generous support of the Swedish government, which has strengthened the coordination and implementation of Idrisi. IGAD has been consistently working to strengthen resilience capacity in the pastoral and agro-pastoral communities in our region. That is most of our pastoralist communities live through cross-border development cooperation mechanism that contribute to regional integration. The cross-border development facilitation unit piloted in the Karamoja cluster service four countries, namely Ethiopia, Kenya, South Sudan, and Uganda is now being scaled out to other clusters through various programs supported by IGAD, including the Borderland Resilience Project in collaboration with UNDP. Similar efforts are underway with the support of the European Union to build on proceeding cross-border development projects in three clusters of the region. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is also my pleasure to inform you at this point that ICAD is set to launch a mid-term review of the 15 
year of Idrisi, where we will draw lessons and inform improvements in the design and implementation of this very important program. This review will take into account existing and emerging challenges such as the COVID-19, desert locust, protracted conflicts within our region as well as internationally, macroeconomic shocks which is caused by the issues that I mentioned earlier, and the current growth that we are going through. Our intention is to learn by doing in order to increase the adaptive cap capacities of our people to the complex situations they are facing. In this regard, lessons generated from phase one of Idrisi have been translated to Idrisi two or phase two, which will subsequently inform phase three of this initiative. Your Excellencies, we are now in the midst of the worst drought in four decades, as I've said. The number of food insecure people has raised ex exponentially from 40.2 million in May 2022 to over 50 million now. To make matters worse, this is not just a food crisis, but also the combination of a food crisis, health crisis, as well as malnutrition among children, the elderly and women in exceeding of 90 million in the three most affected countries, namely Ethiopia, Kenya, and Somalia. Additionally, it is also an economic crisis with over 7 million head of livestock, which are the main source of life for pastoralist communities of our region. In response of this, Your Excellencies, Idrisi was established to build preparedness through early warning system and coordination mechanism at a regional, national, and subnational levels, as well as foster political commitment by our member states and like-minded development partners, which are working with us. These circumstances we are in now compel to need for a program shift or paradigm shift where we should accept the impact of these multiple shocks, including the war, the conflict in Ukraine, which is directly affecting our region as well. This circumstance we are in now to change we must make require not only a do thing differently, but also a rethink of resilience programming in the region. The rethink, rethinking of resilience in our region is now the most important thing that this meeting should be challenged. So, dear colleagues, experts, scientists of our region, I challenge you to find innovative ideas that will put us on in trans transformative path toward more anticipatory and lasting outcome in the coming years that the vicious circle that we are in. In closing, Your Excellencies, colleagues, I wish to thank the people and the government of Ethiopia, Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, for hosting this 14th Idrisi Platform Steering Committee meeting members of the steering committee who organized this thing, my team, very strong team of Idrisi, and development partners for joining us both physically and online. And most importantly, our member states who are the backbone of our organization, who came from all our member states to participate here. So I thank all of you I wish you a fruitful deliberation. Thank you very much. Amasagnalo.